Hello everyone and welcome to another How to Make Millions of Credits video, the series of videos where I show you guys some of the stuff that you should be buying low on the GTN now with the hopes of selling high later. And we will start with items from the Battler pack. Now the first best item to buy low right now is the Nightlife Operative Armor Set Pieces. Now this is a bronze arm, these are bronze armor pieces that drop from the Battler pack and they definitely are going to drop on the GTN just by virtue of the fact that they are bronze rarity. So they're very common and they're going to drop. And so I'm buying a ton of the supplementary body armors because those contain the headgear. And the headgear and the upper body armor, those are the two armor pieces that you want to look out for from this armor set. And unfortunately, as you guys are going to see here, the upper body armor has not dropped at all. But as a general rule, I'm picking up the supplementary body armor if it's under 15k credits, and I'll pick up the upper body armor if it's under 30k credits. Uh, going on to the next bronze armor set, which is the Outer Rim, it's pretty cheap here. As you guys can see, you can pick up the upper body armor for like 24k and stuff, but that's a little bit too expensive, honestly, especially with me, who buys in bulk. Like, I'll buy like 10 or 20 of these if they're at a good deal, and that's a little bit too expensive, considering the Outer Rim Gunslinger is just a reskin. So I'll pick any Outer Rim supplementary or upper if it's under, uh, if it's under 10, 15k. Now, I just, you just saw me buy the Macron here. If the Macron or any other gold mount, like the Deus or the Eternal Walker, drops to 2 million, I pick it up instantly. Like, these are amazing gold mounts, so I'll pick them up at 2 million. And if you guys see that deal, buy it. 2 million is a great price. Uh, that's the same price that I was buying the Swamp Rank Rancor at and the Coin Sir Revolution. And those were um, gold mounts that dropped from the earlier Alliance packs. And so, yeah, just as a general rule, I love buying gold mounts at 2 million because it's a really, really good deal. Next one is the Dark Augur, so these are some of the silver armor pieces that drop from the Battler pack. And um, and just, I don't really like the supplementary, I picked these two up because they're under 4k, and you really can't go wrong with buying something for under 4k. Uh, but the upper body armor is the one I'm more interested in, and that one wasn't going for cheap enough. I mean, since the up, that upper body armor still doesn't look too good, I'll, I'll pick that up under 15k. Uh, so, yeah, as a general rule, some of you guys might be wondering where I'm getting these numbers from. I like to buy silver armor pieces. I only care about the headgear and the upper body armor, okay? I don't concern myself with the boots or the pants or anything. And I'll buy the silver stuff if it's under around 20k, okay? For the helmet, if it's under 20k. For the upper body armor, if it's under 30k. That's the general rule I follow. And with the bronze stuff, the helmet for under 15k and the upper body armor for under 20k. So that's the general rule. I'm willing to bend it with stuff like... um. Uh, the Nightlife Operative Upper Body Armor, like I'll buy that if it drops under 30k just because that's such a nice looking upper body armor and I'm sure that's going to sell for hundreds of thousands of credits in the future. Some of the other items I'm looking at are the gold armor sets. Uh, the Zakulin Specialist and the Ruthless Scion are the ones that drop from here and they're a little bit too expensive now going in the higher end of hundreds of thousands of credits and I'm not willing to pay that much for it. Like I'll buy gold stuff if it drops to like 50k credits and if you're wondering whether that will actually ever happen uh, it does. I mean, it, it t usually it takes a little bit of a push. Like, for example, with the Anarchist packs, uh, when the blowout sale happened, that flooded the market so much that I was able to pick up Zakul Knight Captain stuff and Underworld Anarchist stuff, which are the gold armor sets from that pack. Uh, I was able to pick them up for like 50k on the GTN. And I even have a video on my channel of me doing that. And those are just amazing deals. So they do tend to drop, and I do keep my eye on them, and you guys should keep your eye on them as well. Going for some of the other stuff... Uh, I always keep my own the companions. Uh, as a general rule, I will buy a companion if it's for two to three million credits. If it's a good one, and if it's a bad one, I'll buy. I'll pay around a million for it. Uh, bad ones are things like the Warbot, which drop from the Anarchist pack, and those did drop to like a million credits. Uh, good ones are things like the Core Slug Handler license and that kind of stuff. Uh, the, the few other droids, like the QO something droid from the Visionary packs, those drop to around two to three million credits, and I did buy up a ton of those. And I'll do the same with this ISO 5R, considering it's such a nice companion, I'll pay like 3 million, 2 million for it. Any, anywhere in between 2 to 3 million, but it hasn't dropped that low, unfortunately. But once again, keep your eye on that one, because I'm investing a lot into these companions, just by uh, my experience with the Nexu. The Nexu from the Strategy Alliance packs. Those were selling for about 4 to 5 million credits when the Strategy Alliance packs were released, and um, I had saved up a few, and now they sell for like 15 to 20 million credits. And so I'm, um, and so I learned from that experience, and now I'm trying to do the same thing and make a huge profit with some of these other companion gifts. So those were the items from the Battler packs. Uh, now, considering the Battler packs are the, you know, just got released, now is the time when the market is probably going to be the most flooded, unless something like another blowout sale happens with them. But I, I don't think that's going to happen with the Gemini or the Battler packs. And so, um, 
Yeah, I'm, so now is the time when those items from the battler packs are going to be the cheapest. So now is the time to buy them up. So that's why I was looking at those. But I'm also going to go a little bit back and look at some of the Gemini packs and the stuff from the Gemini packs and even the Revenge packs. And uh, the one thing to keep in mind is with these Gemini packs, guys, the Gemini was not a very popular hyper crate, and so not a lot of people bought it. And you can tell by the fact that the items on the GTN right now are super expensive. And the reason they're super expensive is because uh, the market is just not flooded enough. There aren't enough items out there that people are willing to sell. And so the prices are going to be pretty high. So that's why I'm not really focusing on the items. I'm just kind of going through them. But they're way too expensive right now to even think about investing in them. That's okay because I'm not a big fan. You know, for those of you who've been watching my channel for, you know, the past few, uh, past few weeks or month, yeah, everyone knows I'm not a big fan of the Gemini packs. I really didn't like them. I didn't like the items that came out of them. And, you know, the price increase and everything just wasn't a good mix. Even looking at some of this bronze stuff, like, I just don't think the bronze stuff looks good enough for me to really invest in it. Even though it's pretty cheap, I mean, the philosophy I generally follow is if it's like below 2 to 3k credits, you can't go wrong with buying them. So buy up a bunch. Like you can buy 100 of them and only have spent 300k, which is uh, really good because if you can make like, you know, 100k profit off of each of them, well, then you're making millions of credits in profit. And uh, don't think that just because these are bronze stuff, they're not going to sell a lot in the future. Like there are tons of bronze armor pieces right now from packs that were released months ago that do sell for like 400, 500k for the helmet or the upper body armor. And I have, I have personally sold a ton of them. So they do sell. You just need to buy them when they're cheap, hold on to them, sit on them, bide your time, and you will be able to make a ton of credits. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we're just going to skip through some of this stuff. The Gemini packs, generally, guys, not the best investment. So the items from the Gemini packs are not the things to really be looking at. I wouldn't waste your time. I'm not wasting my time uh, searching the GTN for sales from stuff from the Gemini packs. And you can tell from just this quick video on the Harbinger server, which is supposed to be the server where items tend to fall the cheapest, uh, the items are pretty expensive, which, once again, just means the market wasn't flooded enough. Now, going on to the Revenge pack, I have personally bought up a ton of Scorched Chem Lizards, Frontline Gapillions, uh, stuff like that because they have dropped very cheap. The Revenge Pack was one of those really popular packs because it had that Platinum Saber and the market was super flooded. Now, I feel like the items have kind of died down. They're not as cheap as they used to be. I used to pick up Frontline Gapillions for like 150k. And uh, that's obviously really amazing for a gold mount, even though it's not the nicest of gold mounts. But, um, but yeah... But just as a general rule, uh, don't be looking at the items from the revenge packs just right now. And don't be investing in them now because they're set to go on blowout sale. I mean, it seems as though all the alliance packs are going to go on blowout sale. The next one is the plunderers packs, and after that is the revenge packs. And yeah, so when they go on blowout sale, that's probably when you're going to want to look on the GTN, look at those items and see them drop, and then pick them up when they're at a low enough price that you might want to buy them. And so I'll probably be doing a video... Uh, closer to when the blowout still happens about some of the better deals that are going on but right now don't be too concerned with the items from the revenge packs or from the plunders packs because whatever they are at now they're going to be cheaper when the blowout still happens but the next items to be looking at are the items from the dark versus light packs things like the cathar honor sword and i'm going to insert uh, a clip here right now of me buying the cathar honor sword at insanely low prices i picked one up at like four something million credits and i picked another one at like six million credits and I used one for my character, and I'll have the other one that I'm sitting on, and I'm going to uh, sell it later for like millions, millions of credits in profit. And so these rare items can drop in price, as proven here. I've even picked up the Volatile Conquer Saber Staff. Uh, you're going to see it here for an auction of 3 million credits, and I am going to buy it, but I picked up one at 2.5 million credits as well. So these rare gold items that are very uh, sought after, like a lot of people want them, and they sell super well, uh, they do drop. They do drop because uh, they are, the market is a little bit flooded now due to the dark versus light packs, which uh, drop these and they drop them at a pretty good rate. They're not insanely rare that people open the packs and don't get them at all. And so they can drop in price. And so you should be keeping an eye out on those and getting those really good deals like the Cathar Honor Sword for 4.5 million credits. Uh, the Black Nebula Blaster is another one to keep your eye on. It's like 900k now, but I've seen a drop on the Harbinger to 250 to 300k. And I've picked up a few because it's a pretty nice looking blaster. Some of the other stuff that drops from these packs are these silver armor sets, and I've kind of stopped keeping my eye on them. I used to be constantly monitor monitoring them, looking for some good deals, but they just don't seem to drop. And that must be because they're such iconic names like Freedonad, Kreia. They're all from the Knights of the Old Republic and Knights of the Old Republic 2, 
and they're very popular and so it just doesn't seem like those armor sets drop and people are just selling them for upwards of 250 to 300k and as you guys know that's not a price I'm willing to buy silver stuff at I buy silver stuff at like under 30k so um so yeah I'm not gonna keep my eye on those I don't suggest you do that either but that is the video hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one